In this video, we're going to go over how to use an amp meter. So we have here two different amp meters. We're going to go ahead and get those set up. For starters, you're going to want to be using a block that has the same capacity as you would get from a wall outlet um, because we are plugging it into an extension cord. So this is going to provide us with the same um, voltage that you would get from a wall outlet. So we're going to plug that in right here. And the way this one works is it simply just plugs straight into here, one of the USB ports, and it's going to start to display on the screen. Now when you're using an amp meter, you're going to see all of these different numbers on here. You're going to see the voltage. This is the voltage of this charge block, which is five volts. What we're gonna be looking for on an amp meter is this number right here on the right side beside the little A, 0, 0.00. It is reading 0.00A, because there is nothing plugged into this to be pulling amps. So this one right here is very similar. It's gonna be a little bit different orientation on here. The top is gonna to be the voltage. You can see the volts are 4.95 volts. That's okay. You're gonna have a little bit of a difference from one to the other. It's typically uh, just gonna be within a few points. It's not that big of a deal. You still see right here you have 0.000A. So there's an additional digit after the decimal point. We're gonna ignore that digit on this amp meter. So let's go ahead and grab some devices. This can be used on Apple as well as Android, but we're going to be using it on some Apple devices here. Okay. So for starters, we have one device that does have issues and one device that um, is a working device. So we're going to go ahead and grab, we have a lightning connector here. Now this device is the working one. You're going to plug in to the charge port. This is powered off at this time. I'm going to plug it into this amp meter, the white one. And you should start to see some amp reading right there. It's gonna be growing. So you have 0 0.70, it's kind of growing throughout. It is starting to boot up. As a foam powers on, it's going to be pulling more amps. Typically, you're going to see it stay around the two amp mark. Normally, you don't really see it go above the two amp mark. It may go a little above, but it's not going to reach three. So as you can see, it is now powered on. You can use it, it can function at this time, and it's pulling just above the two amps. We're gonna go ahead Ahead and turn this off. I'm going to disconnect. So as you can see, a phone is going to pull in more amperage when it is in use, but it's going to, going to still uh, pull in amps even if it is off as long as the charge port is functioning. Now we have here, this is another device we have. It is pulling no amps at this time. That seems to be an issue. We're going to go ahead and try to power it on. Does this change anything? No, it still is not pulling any amps, okay? So this is telling me that this may be a charge port battery or board issue at this time. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect from here and we're just gonna use our other amp meter just so you can see the difference. We're gonna turn this device off real fast. So to use the blue amp meter, you can see the readings, like I said, right there. You simply plug in the USB on this side, and we're going to plug it into this device. Once again, it is powered off, and you are getting amps pulling. As it is powering on, you see the increase in amperage. It's maxing out at 2.35, 2.4, dropping back down, and that's okay. When a phone is functioning, you may have it pull more, but when it's just sitting here, you wanna see it around this point. You got 1.85. All phones are gonna be slightly different. Let's plug it into this phone here just to confirm it is the same. It's important to test your testing equipment. That's why we have two amp meters here. We want to make sure that it's the same across the board. We want it to be within a couple of points different. This still is pulling zero amps. So we're just gonna try to power it on. 
and it still is reading zero. So our amp meters appear to have the same rating across the board. So it seems that we have good testing equipment and this device simply needs to be uh, checked out and we need to look at a battery charge port or possible board issue.